Hey everyone, Kerry Collat here on Ask Collat, presented by Rotus. The question I had this week was, how did I wrestle tall guys? Um, and obviously I get that question because I'm, I'm small in stature here and, and uh, not a lengthy guy. And so almost every single person I wrestled was always taller than me and some extremely, um, extremely long and lanky and, and um, much taller than me. And, and um, I, I, to sit here and try to explain that in, in a short video of how to, how to accomplish that and do that, it, it'll never do it justice. Um, you, you need that feel and you need that, that partner mix. Well, for me, like rules of engagement for guys that were longer than me was they, they always would like to post on my head or post on my shoulder and keep their distance. And so my, my strategy for them was to take the, the mat away. You know, typically a mat, if it's you know, resolite mat, you know, it's cut into three strips, and but you get that half moon, right, when you get to an edge. And I tried to keep a long, lanky guy in that half moon part of the mat. Um, I didn't want to give him that freedom to run around. I wanted to make sure that at some point I was going to pressure him enough that he would take a bad shot. And, and at that point, I was going to down block and front headlock and create space so I could run and spin or that close that gap. So if the guy built up, I could get to his legs. So I wanted a, a, an extreme amount of pressure on a guy who was long and lanky um, because a long and lanky guy feels just as threatened as you do. When, when you feel threatened and feel like, well, I can't get close, that guy doesn't want to have you too close. So when you get your hands on him and you can get up inside and get your head buried under his chin or in his chest or in his collarbone, um, he feels extremely threatened. And what, what typically happens is he wants to back his hips out. When he backs his hips out, he extends his stance and then... You go back to tricep pulls and collar type pulls and you're putting him down on his mat. And the truth is, with long and lanky guys, there's a lot of front headlock situations and a lot of spin situations situations that pop up during the, t during the course of the bout, whatever it might be, six, seven minutes. Um, but the fix, like I said, trying to explain it to you in a video is going to be extremely difficult. Um, but this is where you have to be independent in your training and, and smart in your training. And, and what you want to look for is it, the body shapes in your room. You know, I, I wanted to work out with guys who were, you know, the same height as me. I wanted to work out with guys who were longer and lankier than me. I wanted to work out with, you know, if we had shorter guys, shorter guys or lightweights. I wanted to roll around with them and, and really try to match their speed. Um, so if you have a habit of going with the same partner every day in practice and you're not uh, 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 attacking body shapes, it's different because um, each guy's going to give you a different feel. It's you know, so, you know, when I'm running practice in our room, we'll rotate partners on certain days and I'll say, get a different body shape. Um, and that'll be the term I use just so my guys realize, OK, your high crotch is not going to be the same wrestling a different guy at, at a, a different body shape. You know, a long guy there's going to be more space, maybe, and you're going to have to make adjustments on that high crotch. And a short guy, you're going to have to make adjustments on that high crotch. So to learn and really understand how to wrestle a guy of, of height. You know, make sure you're using the body shapes in the room. And, and back to my strategy for it is an extreme amount of pressure that needs to be put on that guy. Wrestle him in the half moon part of the mat. Understand that if you're a short guy wrestling a long guy, there's probably going to be a lot of front headlock situations. Is 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 uncomfortable as you feel crowding and him posting on you. Uh, don't reach for the hands. Keep taking the mat. Uh, once you get in close, is he's going to feel even more uncomfortable once you get your hands inside and get your hands on him. Um, but your body shape situation and practice is where you're really going to learn it. Me sitting here telling you video is never going to give you the feel, but you, you do you do have an idea where you need to be, and it's it's a lot of pressure on a long, lanky guy. Um, you know, hands are low, ready for the low single if he tries to dart from the outside, and every time he takes a step back, you need to crowd and make sure you have him wrestling in that half moon zone. But uh, keep the questions coming. Again, you can uh, post them on therudis.com under the comment section. We'll try to catch them there. Or you can always email me directly and, and um, you know, or go to colat at colat.com, one or the other. All right, well, have a good week, and I'll talk to you all next week.